Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. In this section, we're checking out line integrals. This is uh, Calculus 3, Anton's 11th edition. It's College of the Sequoias, Fall 2022. Uh, in Chapter 15, this is 15.2. So we're looking at line integrals. And let's just motivate the idea of the what, what a line integral is. Let's say we have this wire, and it's got a, a density that changes along the length of the wire. It's, it's denser in some spots than others. Uh, and we wanted to find the mass of the wire. So the density function is the, like the mass per unit length. Uh, we could break up the, the wire into a bunch of little pieces. And for each piece, go along the piece and figure out uh, the mass for each piece uh, by plugging in like kind of like the midpoint or PK star into our F and figuring out what it is. And so like mass is density per unit area or density is mass per unit length. So if we wanted to find like the mass of it, the mass would be density times the length. So like the length, arc length is S, we use S for arc length. So delta S will be the arc length for that little tiny piece. And the density will be PK star plugged in into the function in that spot. So we can find the mass of that little segment right there. Uh, and we could go from, if we did N different segments, we could find the mass of the each segment by adding up those little tiny mass pieces. Uh, of course, we can do the limit as those little tiny pieces go to zero. And the reason why we say the limit is the max delta SK goes to zero. It, depending on how we parameterize it, different arc length sections might be longer than others. And so we want the longest one to go to zero. Uh, and if we do that, of course, we get this integral along this curve. So we're, we're finding out the mass of this line, but it's going along this curve. So we put a C. So C says we're, we're doing a line integral uh, across a curve. And we're doing ds because we're doing it in relation to the arc length. So we're going following it that way. Uh, and so we would find the mass of the thin wire by integrating that linear density function over the curve C. Uh, if C is a smooth curve of arc length, and if the linear density function is one, then we just have what is the arc length or ds is arc length basically and if the function's one we're just going to get out the length because mass is density times length if density is one mass is just length uh that's in like 3d it's a little easier to picture what's going on along the curve if we're doing 2d uh it's the area under the curve from between the xy plane and the f of xy thing I drew a crappy picture right here. Let me show you a better picture right here in the book. Like we've got this curve C along here. The F of X, Y value is up here. Doing the line integral calculates this area of this sheet. And it's like a curved piece of paper, basically. Uh, so it's, it's that kind of idea when we're doing it in two dimensions, okay? Uh, this is not easy to do. Uh, in, in, except for very, very simple functions, it's not easy to do. It gets a lot easier if we uh, work with parameterizing the arc length. Uh, recall we did this. Uh, so you have the length from time equals A to time equals B of uh, dr dt dt, where we got rt is x, x, t and y, x of t and y of t or x, y, x, y, and z as we'll go into three dimensions. Uh, and if we want, so that's the, that's finding the length along the line integral. If we wanted to break it into subcomponents, uh, each subcomponent would have that same kind of length set up. So, like each little line component we're doing that it has that same integral for its little tiny, tiny little piece. Uh, and so if we add them all up, we do all of them, 
uh, we are going to get the line integral. Uh, and it's, it's affected by the function that's along it. So like if it was just one, we'd get the normal line. But now we have like the linear density function or uh, you know we might have a, a temperature field or a vector field that we'll see in a little bit how we, we how we can work with vector fields uh, that has to go in there so the integral of f over the the curve following the arc length uh, we could just write it as f of x t y t and then we've got dr dt uh, dt, it also goes up to three variables. And I just want you to recall uh, what that meant. So the r prime of t was the dx dt squared plus dy dt squared, take the square root. Uh, that's this one up here. And when we do the triple one, uh, we just add in this dz dt component. So the short notation is writing it like this. This is what we're actually gonna be doing. And we'll check it out in the next video. Peace.